Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at how we could set up VS Code to work with C Sharp. So after getting VS Code installed on the computer, uh, I've actually just created a folder called C Sharp but there's nothing in it and this is still not going to work with C Sharp. And also before you move on with the steps, you want to make sure that you've actually um, got .NET SDK installed on your computer. So if you don't, please click on .NET SDK in Google and click on the first link that's got Microsoft.com within the link and scroll down a little bit, click on download.NET SDK. Uh, once the download is complete, uh, just um, follow the steps to complete the installation and then come back to VS Code to complete the steps over here. We actually need to uh, install an extension for C Sharp. So click on extensions and um, just type in C Sharp, just the way I do here. And it's actually the first one. Click on the first one and um, you'll get an icon looking like this. So click on install and go back to files or to Explorer. And then from here, what we're going to do is we are going to, instead of creating um, the folder ourselves, what we can do is hit on terminal, new terminal. And then from here, type in .NET new console. This will create a a um, hello world uh, for, uh, file for us. So just click on program.cs from the generated um, files. Okay, so this is the basic uh, structure of a C sharp program. We've got our class, we've got a main point uh, or a main method. This is the main point of execution. And uh, we've also got a console.write line to send this message to the user. Now let's have a look at how we could actually run this file. So once the installation is complete, and if you've got a message there that asks you to um, download further files, just click yes for that. Uh, click on terminal again. And so that's, that's the message that I was talking about. Just click yes. And from the terminal, so again, you can access the terminal from here or from the menu. And now just type in and you notice this is the same folder that I've created. So C sharp and looking in Explorer as capitalized C sharp. That's the same folder. Now from here, just type in .NET uh, run and make sure this file is saved. Well, we haven't made any changes, so we can just now run the step. And now just hit enter and you'll see the message hello world. Okay, so um, this is pretty much it. Uh, that's for the first program. And in the next program, we'll change a bit of this just so that we can um, get entry from the user as well. So I hope this was helpful for you to get started with C Sharp and I'll see you in the next video.